Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I can add a new SATA hard drive into this PC. HP did not include any extra screw to secure the hard drive, so I must find four screws from somewhere to secure the SATA, HDD, or SSD. Uh, if you don't have any, you can try your local hardware store they may be your best friend. All right, let's get to it. Step one, remove the side panel. This is the uh, HP PC that I bought back in 2021 Black Friday week. To remove the side panel, there's a screw right here and you have to unscrew it. I already unscrewed a bit. So, and then once I unscrewed it, you can pull it out, lift it open like that. And then put it down there. That's how you remove the side panel. Now step two, we need to remove this uh, black metal mesh by removing this screw right here. I already unscrewed it and uh, take it out. Uh, out here, I just give it a pull and then put it on the side and don't lose the screw. Now from here, we see the inside of the computer I already removed the video card for other purpose. Um, now step three, we need to remove this uh, frontal plastic PC cover by uh, push it out there a bit. And you need to do this like a bit and uh, uh, you make sure you don't, you don't pull the whole thing wide open because there's a wire to show the green LED light right here. Um, so this way it will do it. All right, step four, remove the one screw that secured the HDD metal bracket to the PC case first, and then remove the HDD metal bracket. I already unscrewed this hole right here and remove the screw. Then this bracket will just go off like this without any effort. And then you just give it a little bit pull. And then, now there we go. This is the hard drive bracket that will hold the hard drive in place and then the uh, hard drive will go back in there like that. Then we're gonna um, hook up the hard drive power cable and then SATA cable. Uh, let, let's look at the, uh, the hard drive so that uh, we know what the hard drive looks like. And um, this is the hard drive that I'm gonna use in the Put into this that I'm gonna put into this PC. Uh, on the left here, you can see that this is uh, this is the uh, the power part of the hard drive. There's a key power cable for that, and this is the SATA cable for that for the hard drive. You can see that there's a little uh, I guess it's called L shape thing that uh, prevents you from making a mistake. The cable would also show this, so you just uh, match them up and then uh, plug them in, and that will be it. All right, that's not too hard. Um, let's have a look into in, look into the uh, computer case. This is the SATA data port. You can see that there's a little L looking thing. It's like this part right here, L, right? And that will match with the hard drive part, like right here. So they go together, this thing right here. Okay. And then for this hard drive uh, power cable, it will be in this one. It's already connected to the motherboard. Um, you could use uh, either one of the two, whichever that you like. Uh, there's also a directional thing to prevent you from um, Making a mistake, you see this is a little missing notch, I guess, or pin, and make it that L shape, right? And then on the hard drive side, you're gonna match it with this part right here, and then connect them together. Then that's how the hard drive will be hooked up to the computer. All right, let me put the hard drive into the bracket, and then uh, I'll come right back. All right. I'm back. All right, I already put the hard drive into the hard drive uh, bracket. 
and this is how I secure the hard drive. There's a one screw, second, and then on the other side, there's a third and fourth. Now the hard drive is securely locked in this uh, metal frame. Now I'm gonna put this in back. Uh, the way how I do it is just the same way how I took it out. Put this in and then, all right, that's it. Okay, this is, uh, if it push a bit, okay, it's not moving, that's good. And I'll need to uh, screw this uh, screw back in there to lock this uh, hard drive uh, thing in place. But right now, right now, I'm going to, before I do that, I'm gonna connect the uh, SATA cable to the hard drive. This PC already come with one SATA cable. It's a super short. I don't know how long this one is. Probably seven inches, maybe. And then uh, let's say the kit power cable is this one. Okay, let me connect the SATA cable in first and then I uh, go connect the power cable. Um, while we are here, you, you can see that there's one blue uh, SATA port that I will use and there are two more SATA ports in the back over there, the light blue one and the, the white one. Uh, if you want to add more stuff in there, uh, you could, as long as they are SATA devices. And then uh, if they don't use much power, you can use a white splitter cable for this and then connect this side to the white splitter cable to make two more plugs to connect two more SATA devices. But uh, honestly, this case is so small, there's not a lot of room. So I guess you can duct tape things. If it's an SSD, then it doesn't vibrate, doesn't spin. I guess you could just duct tape anywhere and then make it work. Uh, in, the, in the metal frame, I think you could install one more SSD in the back, maybe. Uh, I don't know for sure, but looks like it's possible. Um, and also we have the previously the black mesh, like what's right here. Uh, that thing could hold something as well. So there are, there are options somewhere there. And uh, all right, let's uh, put this thing back. Connect the uh, SATA data port cable right into the port. Okay, that, that's a bit tight, but it will work. And then this is the SATA power cable. I think I'm gonna use this size since I've only got one hard drive and I'm not gonna, I don't plan to add any more devices into this. So this one will just go in like that. Yep. Okay, move around. Okay, that's good. All right, that's, uh, that's pretty secure. Well, except the, the screw that I have to lock right here from the front. Uh, let me get the uh, black mesh and give it a preliminary fit. Uh, it will be something like that. Uh, the black mesh will not touch the hard drive circuit board. So I suppose that's all right. So, yep, that looks like that. And then uh, I'm gonna put the front thing back once I screw it in. The way how I took it off, I put it back in. And then uh, put the side panel, the thing back there like so. And then of course screw this one. So that's uh, how to uh, add a new hard drive into this uh, PC. The original PCIe Express um, M.2 SSD was only 256 gigabyte. After a month or two of usage, the space is kind of running out. That is the main reason why I want to add a new hard drive into this PC. All right. Um, if your hard drive is brand new, you will still need to use the Windows 11 to create the hard drive partition and the format the hard drive. All right, that's it. Enjoy your hard drive and the extra storage come with it. Uh, you have a great day. I see you next time. Goodbye.